This video is going to be on how to perform the transformation enlargement. Okay, so this first example has asked me to enlarge the shape A, this triangle down here, by a scale factor of 3 with a center at the origin. Now before I enlarge this shape and show you how to do it, I'm just going to explain to you what these key terms mean. Okay, so firstly, there is this term scale factor. Now that is going to be how much bigger this shape gets. In this question, the scale factor is 3. That means that this shape is going to get 3 times bigger. The word centre in enlargement questions is all to do with where the position of the shape is going to be. In this case, the centre is at the origin. Now this doesn't mean that the shape is going to be drawn at the origin. Instead, this is where this enlargement is being carried out from. I'll explain a little bit more on this when I actually perform the transformation. Okay, so to enlarge this shape, first thing I'm going to mark on the center, which is at the origin or zero, zero. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to mark on one of the vertexes. So I'm going to start with the bottom one. Now the way we enlarge a shape is we find the distance from the center to each corner and multiply that distance by the scale factor. Now I could get a ruler out and measure the distance and then multiply that distance by three, but that would be less accurate than splitting the distances up into a cross movement and up movement. So to get to my bottom corner here from my center, I need to go across two and up three. So timesing those distances by three, I go across 2 and up 3, across 2 again and up 3 again, across 2 again and up 3 again. So you can see I've got three of these little steps happening. Okay, and marking that point with a cross, I've now, in, I've now enlarged that corner. Okay, I'm just going to get rid of these arrows uh, so this diagram doesn't get too messy. I'm now going to do exactly the same thing, only with one of the other corners. Okay, so I'm going to start off by finding how far away this corner is from the origin. So in this case, again, I've got to go across two. But this time I'm going up one, two, three, four, five, six. So I'm going to do this three times. So firstly, I move across two and up six. Doing it a second time, I move across two and up one, two, three, four, five, six. I'm going to do it a third time, moving across two and up one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so after I've done that, I'm going to mark that with a cross two. Okay, again, I'm going to get rid of these arrows just so my diagram doesn't get too cluttered. Right, so I have two corners done. I now just need to do the last corner in exactly the same way as I did the two before. So I start off by marking on the last vertex. So again, I find out how far away my corner is from my center. So counting, I move across one, two, three, four. I move up one, two, three, four, five, six. I've got to do this three times now. So what I'm going to do is start from the origin again. Move across four, up six. Move across one, two, three, four again, and up one, two, three, four, five, six. And do that one last time. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so finally, I'm going to mark that with a cross. I'm going to get rid of those arrows again, just so my pitch is not cluttered. Okay, and all that's left for me to do now is to join up those corners with straight lines using a ruler. And there's my enlarged shape. Okay, so example number two is asking me to enlarge this shape P by a scale factor of a half, this time with a center at minus six, three. And we were asked to label this new shape Q. So again, I'm going to start this question exactly the same way that I've done before. I'm going to mark the center on with a cross. 
Okay, so now that I've got the center, I'm going to perform the transformation exactly as I did in the last example. So I'm going to go from corner to corner, and this time I'm going to start with the top corner. So first off, I'm going to mark the corner on my diagram. And secondly, I'm going to count how far away this corner is from my center. So in this case, I've got to move 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 across and 2 up. Now in this question, I've got a bit of a strange scale factor. I've got a scale factor of a half. Now if you remember, scale factors are multiplying factors. So all of these distances I am multiplying by a half or Another way of multiplying by half is dividing it by 2. So in this first point, the point was 10 units away to the right. So I need to half that distance. So I'm going to go across 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. The corner was two values up, so I need to half that distance and just move one value up. And I'm going to mark that point with a cross. Okay, again, I'm just going to get rid of the lines so my diagram is not cluttered. Okay, so I'm going to do exactly the same thing, only with one of the other corners. So again, I'm going to start by finding how far away this corner is. So moving across, I've got to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Moving down this time, I'm going 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So I'm going to half those distances. So instead of going across 10, I'm going across 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Instead of going down 8, I'm going to half that. I'm going to go, go down 1, 2, 3, 4. And I'm going to mark that position with a cross. Again, I'm going to get rid of these guidelines just for clarity. Okay, so all I need to do now is do the final corner. So I'm just going to mark that with a cross. And I'm going to repeat this process one final time in order to get my last corner. So I need to go across 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. I've got to go down 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So I'm going to half those distances. So in this case, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And instead of down 8, it will be down 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. So I'm going to mark that with a cross. I'm going to remove my lines. And all that's left for me to do is to join those new corners up with a straight line using my ruler. Okay, so there you go. I've got a new enlarged shape by a scale factor of a half with a centre at minus 6.3. All I need to do now is to label it Q. Okay, so hopefully that's helped you in understanding how we go about enlarging shapes. Um, just remember that uh, all of the counting you can do, just be really careful with the counting up and to the side. Um, I put some arrows on there to help me uh, show you how to do it but all of the counting really can be done in your head and you can leave your diagrams nice and neat without having to draw those lines. Anyway, hopefully that's helped you. Have a go at some practice questions and good luck.